Hi, I'm Romy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Kahoo baby carrier with an older child. So here I've got the Kahoo baby carrier. Now, I've previously used it with a newborn. So what I'm going to do is just going to lengthen this little clip in here. So all the webbing has been let out. So this will give it the maximum width of your baby. So all of this is now flat. I'm also going to just loosen off this piece around the neck. So for this piece, it tightens around the neck, so that's at its full width. Obviously, it depends on what setting your carrier is on as to whether you need to do this or not. So lengthen that through. So that top edge is now flat as well. I'm going to take the carrier and hold it with the pattern facing inwards around my waist. And I'm going to clip this around my waist like this and tighten it up. And then I'm going to pick up my baby. So with an older baby, their legs will wrap around you like this. And ideally you want their bottom lower than or level with their knees. So I've got their legs wrapping around. It's called an M position because it looks a little bit like an M. Okay, slide your hand under the base of the carrier and bring it up over baby's bottom and back. You're going to put one strap over one shoulder and the other one over the other shoulder. You're then going to reach around behind and take hold of the strap on the opposite side. So like this. And what you're going to do is bring it straight down to hold baby nice and snug against you. Then bring it round and clip it in over the opposite side. And you can use this hand here to hold the clip. Bring their arm up out the way. And then you're going to tighten this either backwards and forwards to get it nice and secure. So make sure you get the first side done up nice and snug before you do the second. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. You're going to reach around behind, take hold of this strap and put it straight down to hold baby really nice and secure. Then I'm going to bring it round, hold the buckle with the other hand, and clip them together. And then to tighten it up, pull this one straight forward, and if you need to do any additional tightening, pull backwards. So, the most important thing is that you can see your baby. Now, you want to make sure the carrier is between the nape of their neck and their armpit, depending on what they prefer. So they can have arm fat over the top once they've got full head control, so if I just bring this one's arm out. But you want to make sure it comes at least to their armpit, so if they were to lean backwards, they're still going to be safely held by the carrier. So, check it's between the nape of their neck and their armpit, and you want to check they're held as tightly as holding them in your arms. Um, with this age of baby, it's just to stop it pulling on your shoulders, because if they're a little bit loose, they're obviously going to sink a little bit heavier, and also obviously if it's very loose, then there's a chance they could come out. So you can either just check by giving them a cuddle and seeing if you need to lift them. If you feel you do need to lift them, just tighten it up a little bit by pulling either forwards or backwards. The other way to check is rest your hand on the back of baby's head and just gently lean forwards and their body shouldn't pull away from you. Now, position-wise, you ideally want the carrier to sit from one knee pit to the other so the lower legs can swing freely. So let's just bring these out of the way so you can see. So this is coming into baby's knee pit here and coming into baby's knee pit here. If you need to shift them at all, slide your hands inside and you can move them one way or the other so they're sitting evenly. If you find the carrier is a little bit too wide for your baby, this little piece in here that we loosened off earlier, see that? You can actually tighten it up just to narrow how wide the carrier goes. So if you find it is going a little bit beyond baby's knee pit, you can just narrow it down once they're in there. Now, ideally, you want to have their bottom lower than their knees. So if you need to get baby in that position, just take hold of their thighs and give a little tilt to bring their bottom lower and their knees higher, which would be a more comfortable position for them and more ergonomic. So that's essentially it. So to take baby out, what you're going to do is hold them with one arm and unclip at the side. And if you just loosen the front piece, it means it's ready to put on next time, then unclip. Hold baby with the other arm, loosen that front piece and unclip. Then you're going to bring one strap over one shoulder, the other one over the other, and then you can lift baby out. And that's how to use the Kahoo baby carrier with an older child.